Fans used to him winning on court had been marking his victory in court as he gathered outside his lawyer's office in Melbourne. Those celebrations soon turning chaotic as crowds clashed with police who used pepper spray to push them back. What happened? Pepper spray. Novak Djokovic has now been released from detention at an immigration hotel in Australia and back to training according to his family, but they are still concerned. As a mother, how do you feel about the possibility he could still be deported? I'm very worried, but I don't want to think like that. Um, I just hope that it will stay like this, that he will be free and he, he will play. Entering a country with strict vaccination rules, unvaccinated Djokovic had been granted a medical exemption to travel to Melbourne for the Australian Open. Court documents show that was because he'd already had COVID and recovered, but Border Force said that didn't meet entry requirements. Now, a transcript of a conversation he had at that point, though, has been key to a judge ruling that cancelling his visa was unreasonable. The player telling an officer, so you're giving me legally 20 minutes to try to provide additional information that I don't have at four o'clock in the morning. You put me in a very uncomfortable position. I don't know what else can I tell you. Everything I was asked to do is here. He wanted an extra couple of hours, given it was 4 a.m., uh, to contact Tennis Australia, to contact his lawyers and work out where the, where the mistake had been made. But Border Force officials essentially pressured him into making a decision, and that was that he would go into an uh, immigration detention hotel. The country's immigration minister could still cancel the visa and deport the player, but one lawyer told Five News that would need to happen now for it to be justified. Because his special power that the minister has to intervene personally allows him to, to intervene briefly to protect the Australian public. The longer it takes, the harder it is to, I think, argue that Mr Djokovic is, is a risk. If he's such a risk, why did the minister allow him to be released? But there remain questions about how much of a risk he was before he came to Australia. Testing positive for COVID on the 16th of December, he was pictured a day later maskless at events including posing with children. How will tennis fans react to that? There was a lot of detail that Novak could do himself a lot of favours uh, with by answering. You know, what about December the 16th? What about December the 17th? All of this would help if he wants to divulge that information. That would be great. Of course, he could do what Rafa did and just get vaccinated. Novak Djokovic says he wants to stay and try compete in the Australian Open, posting this picture on social media. Winning that tournament would make him the most successful men's player in history. This racket over the rules has made him the most talked about. Alan Jenkins, 5 News.